what we call it mind is nothing but experiences experienced by our body. So many experiences we go through. Every information we receive, this information creates certain experience. Whatever I touch, this brings certain experience. When I hold this cup, the glass, or I hold this flower, it gives totally different information to my body. Isn't it? It gives totally different information. One is artificially created, other one is naturally created. It's two different experiences. When my body is experiencing only artificial information, get to know about it, you'll be surprised. What is touching your body? All what is touching your body is mostly artificial bought from the shop. Our shoes, our dresses, all the material we are handling in daily life, unknowingly, unconsciously, we detached ourselves from this planet. It's very difficult to accept this truth because it confronts so much. Many times we don't want to know the truth because the truth confronts us. It's better not to know your body. Better put the blame on the God, do some rituals and pray towards God to help or accept, get a new concept, oh we all need to go through this, is part of our process. <laughs> this is a justification for our inability to transform. Radically approach this life. It's an opportunity. Every one of you, through your life, through your own experience, you are contributing how we as a humanity is evolving further. You are not one more person. You are only in this way. This cup of tea tastes in your mouth uh, totally unique. What I am saying is understood by you is totally unique. You understand, you hear me through you. All of you, you don't hear me at all. You are listening me through you. How you define yourself, you understand me. You read a book, can you read a book? No. You read the book through you. Can you see anything in this world? No. You see the world through you. And this is the different. When our body is you know, exposed, we started a topic like uh, get to know your body. 
what are the things touching your body in a daily life. We systematically withdraw every natural touch. Even our houses, if you have some leaves, some sand, immediately we want to clean it up. <laughs> that is known as something dirt. You notice that? <laughs> Anything natural is dirt. We want to clean it up, throw it out. All the materials we are using is all bought, is all produced by someone. Very rarely our body is having contact with what is natural, what is grown, what is not created by the mind. Naturally, this is the experience we are feeding. So naturally, what is our desire also artificial? It may confront many of your understandings, but it's good to be confronted. Get to know in daily life, after the satsang, take a few minutes to inquire every day how much natural thing, how much of this planet I am interacting, direct interaction. From my dress, the food, and the sound, fragrance, taste, and what I see and what is touched by me. You got it? What I am eating is fully cooked. And a different, different taste. And also taste, also cultural taste. I rather taste the tomato. We ra rarely taste the tomato. The same tomato is tasted differently in Italy and differently in India. Isn't it? We rarely taste anything natural. How much sound every day we listen. Today is some of us was in the forest and we listened to the sound of the forest. How much sound every day what we listen is comes from the nature. We love music, but nature also music. Most of the sound we hear it's from machines, <laughs> or it's a different composition. I'm not saying it's wrong. Don't misunderstand. We have to get to know who we are, and how we are created, how we are made. Somewhere deep inside, there's a loneliness. Somewhere deep inside, there's a sense, sense of disconnection. Somewhere deep inside, there's a sense of incompleteness. And we move towards that. When we have this feeling, we are trying to look at this feeling through our culture. Maybe I'm not married, that's why I feel like this. I'm 40 years old, I don't have a partner, I don't have a house, I don't have children, I don't have a proper job. I feel like this. But what about the one who is already having house, 
husband, car, cat and dogs, plus children. <laughs> Do you think they feel complete? They also feel like this. They have different reasons to interpret this feeling. Because they are culturally complete, but naturally incomplete. Our mind is constantly trying to be complete culturally. We don't even consider something called natural. The life of the human species, which need to be complete in this planet, it doesn't exist anymore. We are constantly trying to complete culturally, compete culturally. And this cultural completion differs to different countries, different culture. I come from southern India. You have this dowry system. The father may feel incomplete if he is not earning enough money to give dowry to his daughter. Do you understand? He may feel guilt. He may feel shame. He may have fear. He may feel incomplete. When he give lot of dowry, he may feel proud because he completed culturally. He achieved some cultural completion. Whereas here in Sweden or in Europe, you don't have that culture. If you are not traveling, <laughs> do, do, do you understand? If a person is not having driving license, or if you are, you know, never been to disco, you may feel something is incomplete. Isn't it? That something is wrong with you. It is like that. So you are trying to culturally complete. Every culture gives certain components. Every religion gives certain components. And we try to interpret our sense of incompleteness through our religious and cultural components. And when we complete those components, that part is satisfied. But in truth, you as a natural being, you will feel totally misplaced in this planet, totally disconnected, totally incomplete. Sometimes people ask this question, the person is so rich, then why he is seeking? He is so rich, he got everything, he got whatever he can dream of, yacht, private jet, swimming pool, or cars, this and that, no matter what he can buy. Then why he become a seeker? Why he is not able to just enjoy what he got? The truth is, when he got all those things, he become totally hopeless. Until that, he has some kind of hope. When I earn that much money, when I get that job, when I complete my education, when I buy my own house, my own car, my own jet, I have a hope I will feel complete. But once I got all those things, I get totally disappointed because it's not able to give me this sense of completeness. Because culturally, I am complete. 
but naturally I am incomplete. Because what is encountering my body, how my body is exposed, what is felt in my body, the experience which my body is gaining through my everyday interaction, or what is enjoyed by me. The more and more what is, you know, interact, my interaction is artificial, what is enjoyed by me is artificial, my desire also will become artificial. It's totally, as I explained already, it's totally different experiences. What information is infused in my body, what information is infused through this flower into my body. Every interaction my body has, whatever I am sensing is infusing something. What I am sensing become me, and what is me is sensing. It's become so excessive exposure, interaction with the nature naturally gives more new information, natural information. Naturally, when this new information comes inside, you are not becoming more fatter and fatter. <laughs> the world information need to go out. It's important to know. You had a partner previously, you had a girlfriend when you are 18. At the age of 50, you don't have, you don't even remember that friend anymore. <laughs> because many new experiences came inside. The more and more new experience comes inside, the old experience is gone. One time it will be a old memory, even that will be gone at one point. So, when you allow more new experiences, here particularly the question is about natural experiences. When you allow more and more natural experiences, your choices also will transform natural. What is sensed by you also will become natural. And your desire, what you want to enjoy also will become natural. At one point, the so-called nature and you will not be too different anymore. This nature will be enjoyed in your body itself. Now when you talk about the nature, you are thinking about the tree, flowers and the river, something outside of you. Because all the information which is stored in our body is a lot of artificial information. Our food is manipulated, our fragrances are manipulated, sound is manipulated, what we are seeing is manipulated, what is touched by also manipulated. Since all the interactions, all the experiences which we are bringing into our body are all manipulated, so naturally our perception also manipulated, our need also manipulated, our desire also manipulated, what we want to achieve in our life also manipulated. In this, our deep, in a deep level, this being will be disappointed. Are you able to follow? Yes. This being will be disappointed because all your plans are not coming closer to this body. All these plan achievements all about all how is going to detach, how you are going to no? Detach yourself from this body. Your body 
and uh, this earth body, cosmic body need to be united at one point. And all our effort, all our education is all about how to detach our body from being this union. And more and more every day we are getting new, new technology how to disconnect, how to detach ourselves from this reunion. So, we are evolving totally different direction, which is unknown, which is, has a lot of fear. If our evolution is towards the nature, towards the cosmic order, then we will not have fear. Now, we as a humanity, we go through a lot of fear, because our development, we don't know where we are, which direction we are developing towards. We don't have the center to develop around. Unpredicted development. Other one is predicted development. When we are developing along, evolving, or we can say revolving around the cosmic order, evolving around the cosmic order, we can predict the life. You follow? Because there's a center. So, it is true, more and more you interact with the nature, your perception will change your desire will change. If you have hundred friends or ten friends, get to know these friends. They all may have the similar perception. Similar, do, do you understand? Similar viewpoint of life. Similar background, similar exposure, similar experiences. So, we collectively create one reality, this is what life is. Allow, allow new experiences, which will transform you, which will transform the way you look at this life, which will transform the way life interact with you. Life is only one time. And this time, make it beautiful. Make sure you are experiencing the fullness of this life. To make something right, we don't have to make something wrong. So, when we enter into this kind of topics, we don't have to make anything wrong. But get to know something new. We all have a lot of likes, dislikes. But be aware, this all comes from our old experiences. Unless we allow some new taste inside our body, we are not changing. We become little plastic. Life is beautiful. Keep it open. Let the life flow through you. Let the flower bloom in your heart. Let the wind carry you to every height of this life. Thank mm -hmm. you.